Today's video, we are going to be refinishing my dining room table. This dining room table I purchased probably five or six years ago. It came with a sideboard and five chairs. And I've since repainted the chairs, but they need to be touched up again, as happens with children. The top of the table had large patches where the finish had flaked off and some dents and dings and was really sad. It is a walnut veneer on top and an unknown wood on the sides and legs. It turned out really nicely and I hope that you can pick up a few tips and tricks to use in your own. Here are some before photos showing the finish in the workshop where I was working, which is not my own space. For this project, I used circa 1850 soft strip, a metal putty knife, a tack cloth, pre-stain wood conditioner by Minwax, Minwax Special Walnut Wood Stain, Verithane Gel Stain in Kona, though I really wanted dark walnut, Gloss Finish Armor Seal by General Finishes, and Verithane Professional Clear Finish Spray in Satin. You also need sandpaper, a sanding block, and lint-free cloths. I used circa 1850 soft strip, which I got from Home Hardware, to remove the coating. I layered it on and left it for about 20 minutes before scraping up. I ended up having to do this twice on the tabletop. I don't think I initially put enough on or gave it enough time. The sides and legs came up quite well, just the top was stubborn. I wonder if I had roughed it up a bit with sandpaper first if it would have helped lift the top. Here you can see me scraping off the finish with a metal putty knife. I believe it is a two inch or one and a half inch size. I was very careful to push the finish but not damage the wood. The next day I took it outside and with my detail sander, because I do not have a random orbital sander, I used 120 grit and 220 grit sandpaper to finish the top, the sides, and the legs. I had to switch to my phone this day thanks to a dead battery on my camera and the wind made it very difficult to record as it continuously kept knocking the stand that my phone was on over. So I only have a short clip here, but sending's not that interesting. Additionally, as I had the table on its side sending the legs, the wind pushed it over and embedded some small stones into the top of the table, which I then had to pick up. I filled these using a two-part epoxy which had a consistency a lot like peanut butter. It was not what I thought I initially bought. I believed it had a two-part putty, but I made this work anyways. Next, I stained the entire table and legs with the special walnut by Minwax finish, and then went in with the gel finish to try to touch up those epoxy spots a bit darker. This leg here has had a coat of the gel stain put over it. This one is just the special walnut. So I decided I was going to just throw a quick coat of the gel on and wipe it off because I think it matches the top much better.
the epoxy spot still didn't quite take the stain correctly so I used a trick I'd seen online and went and grabbed some sharpie markers to attempt to darken them. I used the yellow, the brown, and the black adding small strokes of color to try to better blend it in with the surrounding color. Results were mixed but it's definitely a lot less noticeable than initially. This is the first refinishing job I've done in a long time and I did a lot of research on top coats before I picked my final decision. I went with Armor Coat by General Finishes and I used the gloss finish to build the initial layers as satin and semi-gloss have gloss inhibitors in them. When you build up over layers can become foggy and the gloss has none of that so it was crystal clear. It is a wipe on poly. I could have laid it on much thinner uh, just using like a cheesecloth to wipe on several layers but since this is a dining table and I do have children I decided to go with a good thick two coats and then finish it with a satin finish which is what I wanted the final result to be. It is a very smelly product. I did this inside of a garage that is generally used for car parts and the people said that even after I had put it on it was giving them a headache from the smell. I definitely don't recommend using this inside your house as it is quite strong but it is also a gorgeous finish. After the initial coat had cured I used a 400 grit sandpaper and a sanding block to lightly sand the surface. The finish will sometimes raise the grain a little bit or dust will get stuck in it. It'll just have tiny little imperfections and if you just take the time to lightly sand those out between coats you'll have an even smoother glossier finish in the end. So I used some 400 grit sandpaper here to lightly sand it down and then I took a tack cloth and wiped off all of the dust and then I used a blue shop cloth which is a lint free cloth to make sure everything else was off there was nothing left before I proceeded with the second coat of armor seal gloss. spray on my final coat. It is a urethane by Verithane satin finish. I really love the armor all, the way it went on, the finish of it, the quality, but I did not want a gloss finish and I couldn't justify buying a whole other quart just to put on like one coat of satin. So I went ahead and got a spray bomb. To spray furniture properly, you want to start depressing the button off the furniture. Go all the way down, back and forth with the wood grain. And I like to overlap my sprays 25 to 50% so that there's really good even coverage. Um, I've put the first coat on. I will get some up close views of the second coat for you. I do both three coats. You want to respray while it's still tacky. So I give it about 10 minutes in between coats. Because spray paint goes on so very, very thin, it takes about three passes to get a good solid coverage. Um, lots and lots of shaking before you spray. And something like this, I'll probably do about half of it, give it a quick shake, and then do the other half of it. Um, the smaller leaves leaves. Um, I do it all just shake it before and then do it and then I'm done. The legs I have hung up in the spray booth and they are being coated. Here I am just cleaning off from doing another light sanding and getting ready to spray. You can see I'm wiping it here with the shop cloth to make sure I have everything off. And now I'm going to start to spray it. 
As I was explaining, I consider three passes of the spray bomb to be equivalent to about one coat of actual painting. So if I go over this once, wait 10 minutes, go over it again, wait 10 minutes, go over it a third time, that's about the equivalent of actually brushing on one coat of finish. Here you can see me spraying this piece on the top and I am doing the overlay to make sure that every part of it is covered and there isn't some wispy thin spray. You can see by the reflection of the shop lights where it is glossy and where it is not. Of course that does not finish dry like that. I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. There are a few like dust bumps or something. I think I'm going to give it another coat of spray but I'm going to wet sand it with some 400 grit wet dry paper to gently sand out all of the surface imperfections before I put on my final coat. way to tell if you've gotten everything off is to close your eyes and just use your hands. Your hands will see and feel more than your eyes ever will. paper, so it doesn't need more wet per se, it does get little bubbles of finish on it that need to be smoothed off. surface scratches because kids um, but otherwise it turned out really beautiful I do have a slight crack you might be able to see in the two boards here I think I need to sand down any finish that might be on the little dowel peg that goes into the hole that holds the leaf to the table so I'll probably do that at some point um, it turned out really beautiful and it's very smooth I'm um, very happy with how it turned out. I hope you enjoy the video and you learn some things that you can use for your own projects. I put a link in the description box below for all of the products. They are Amazon affiliate links. I get something if you buy, but it costs you nothing extra. They're not all the exact products I've used because I did buy all my products locally and I have to only link to Amazon, but it'll give you an idea of the 
kind of things I do. So a two inch putty scraper, it's a different one. Not a big deal. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!